the guy that's here bush hogging is like judging me so hard for talking to a phone right now. Um, I know, I've just made your food, it's coming. You two play nice. Y'all, horses are dumb. They're dumb. Are you trying to get a picture of Santa and Catherine? Partially. Who is that? Oh. I don't know, but I don't like her. Oh, she's over there too. Okay, okay. This week, we are moving into college on Friday. We are taking three horses with us this year. Um, that may change, of course, if we get too busy or, I don't know, we just don't have time. But we're planning to take three, which means that our lovely two plus one trailer will carry three horses for the first time in its life to our knowledge because I'm pretty sure the old owner never did that. So that means that I have to clean it out. Um, it's kind of a mess. I'll probably show you more. So we have to clean it out. B got her tonsils out last week on Thursday and that light is better. Okay. So B got her tonsils out last week, which means that she is taking it easy, not by choice, but she doesn't feel too good. She feels um, on and off okay. So that leaves most of the packing for the horses to me, which is fine. It's all fine. I won't forget anything. Watch me forget my saddles or my horses. But this is all complicated by the fact that my lovely dad was doing me a huge favor and you can see it's a huge wreck here. like. My riding boots, an old container for something. These are shipping boots that we can't use on any of the horses because they hate them. Stack of pads. Those are actually blankets. Those two bins right there. That is a tent. That is a manure bucket that's clean with a bunch of camping stuff in it, like sleeping bags and stuff, in case we ever get stuck without a hotel room. Which sounds like not that big of a possibility, but if you knew us, you would know that it it could happen very, very easily. So I'll probably give you a better tour of this. Um, I have to clean out, we have a bunch of moldy hay in this trailer, in the horse compartment. And oh my gosh, it's hot. So let me jump out and open it up. But we have to clean it out, I have to bed it down. Oh goodness, pony just rolled. I have to clean the trailer out, bed it down. I'm gonna try to get some hay nets packed but back to the original, original thought. Um, we are hoping that everything is okay with the truck, my lovely F-250, because my dad was changing the oil and the fuel filter for me because he is good at that stuff. And oil changes on diesels of that size are very expensive. Ramp is down. So he was changing the oil and replacing the fuel filters. There's two of them. And everything was fine. He cranked it up, checked stuff, made sure everything was okay, and it was not okay. <laughs> um, he looked and <laughs> these oil up, and all up under the trailer, up under the truck. Why am I saying trailer? Up under the truck, we had a hemorrhaging oil leak. He has no idea why. I don't think it was his fault. I think it was, oh, Mr. Praying Manus, you need to move. Hold on. Excuse me, buddy. Um, I need to open that. Yeah, you need to, you, you should move. You should move, my dude. Here, let me find something. Seriously, there you go. Now you're safe. 
of me blabbering away at a camera. Um, so, my dad, one of these doesn't close right now. I'm also like going through and I don't want to say fixing things on the trailer. Just like, I'll show you, I have to get a wrench or a screwdriver or something. Um, just like a couple of little things. It's in the truck. Fine. Um, just like a couple of little things that I want to touch up in the trailer, trailer to make it easier. So like, there's a little, um, this, this bolt, this bolt right here, it's a bit tight. It's just a bit hard to flip that up sometimes. And that's not the right window. Um, so just like a couple little things like that. And I'm gonna oil some hinges and stuff. But none of this matters if my truck isn't okay. So we should find that out hopefully today. Um, I looked online and a couple of the forums and stuff were like, yeah, that happened to me. It was just an O-ring, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully it's a quick and easy fix. But my dad is at work. So uh, he works um, in agriculture. So he, whoop, he's a little guy. He works in agriculture. So he is often out in the middle of nowhere. Look at the sky today. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So he's often out in the middle of nowhere with no cell reception. <laughs> So hopefully we'll know. But until then, I'm just gonna carry on acting like everything is fine. We're definitely leaving Friday. <laughs> um, but you know, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So just preparing, trying to get everything ready. So this intro has been way longer than it needed to be, but I guess that makes up for last week's intro, which was like pretty much, last week's video, which was pretty much just this length of so I forgot that I didn't reset the trailer okay I guess it's time for me to clean up I need to check that hay out oh, state of our plus one area here um, I need to find out something to do with these four bales of hay because they're actually not terrible but like you can see there there's also it's a mold there and it's just because they got left in here it was hot and humid and alfalfa doesn't do well in that so desperately need a tripod for my camera but we will figure something out all right i lied i'm back i figured i'd vlog is there anything nicer than a freshly mowed pasture everything behind me if you're going sam that one pasture is mowed but everything else looks feral it's fine he's bush hogging we have a lot of land it takes a while anyway so i have the girls feed buckets wearing the same jersey that I've been wearing for the last like three days because just it's nice and mesh so I can just throw it in the wash and it cool and it like is dry by the time it comes out of the washer if you just get the moisture out of it so I don't stink like a rotten egg I promise I just it's a mess jersey and it's hot as heck right here so there's my trailer uh, um, I'm gonna hang these buckets up and feed and maybe I'll show you the other Horses, maybe not. It depends on if they're behaving. We'll find out. Back again. So basically, life happened. And that means that I didn't vlog for most of the day because I wasn't here most of the day because someone who is kind of mute at the moment, B. Hi. That's max volume. She was really painful. She had to go to the doctor. And we live in the middle of nowhere. So not much happened, but did get some hat done here. So let me flip the camera around and we can see here how, hold on. Oop, the front is bedded down, model not included. The front is bedded down. The dressing room's a wreck as per usual. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of boots to make three sets of boots. One, two hay nets hung, the third hay net will be here. So sugar will be in this stall, facing, of course, the front. Thank you, thank you. 
um, Raccoon will inhabit the second stall, and then Rosie will stand right up here, probably on a diagonal of some form, however she gets comfy. Um, and of course this ramp will go up, our curtain door will probably close, but we will, oh yeah, and we have these straps. Um, so that when, when you load the horse, like Rosie will walk up and we can close the strap behind her and that way she can't walk off until the ramp is closed. Just like the butt bars, but they're not solid bars because that would take up a lot of room for this trailer. Even though that's not Rosie, even though Rosie would like her. I mean, Rosie's going to have alfalfa, so why on earth would she try to stay up and leave, but this thing. B, what have we been doing? She's been recovering. She sounded a lot better earlier today. But basically, laundry. And washing my brushes. My brushes, my kit's right there. Labeling. Labeling things. Organizing. As you can see by the giant pile of stuff. It's a mess. All right, so I am currently in the barn. We have left the barn once and gone to Target to get a mini fridge for our dorm room because we didn't have one and that kind of sucked because we couldn't like buy lean cuisines to eat um, or like keep sweet tea or anything in it. So we went to Target and we bought a mini fridge that was on sale and then I'm gonna buy like a micro fridge with a microwave in a couple weeks when the girl gets it up here. Um, and then the mini fridge will probably just go either, it'll probably stay up here for the school year because we already have it and then it'll go in the barn once we finish that at home. Um, but the barn is beautiful here. It's, as you can probably tell, there's like chandeliers and it's all super cool. Beautiful brick floor. I'll show you the tack room, or at least our portion of the tack room. So, so there's um, the Dutch doors that go up to the owner's house, which is really cool. Um, here, let me come over here. So actually right now, before I go to the tack room, um, <laughs> let me show you what Sam's doing right now. So this is, a pile of disinfectant wipes because Rosie bit her tongue in the trailer today and started bleeding everywhere. And we put her in the stall just to let her chill. And her being a horse, she of course walked around the stall and got blood all over the walls. So we've already cleaned up like a good bit of it. A large portion of it. Like this whole wall over here had blood on it. And we had to like get on it, our it knees and scrub it. It wasn't covered in blood. It, wasn't it had covered. like streaks of drool blood because she was yeah. drooling blood because it was in her mouth. Yeah. So this is what um this is what Sam's doing. Yeah, so now I get to clean up. Sam I've, gets to clean I've up. I've already cleaned out. So there's this. like the feed thing that she put her uh, blood yeah. in. I've cleaned out the water. Mm -hmm. We had just a pool of blood. Yeah. So the water had like the water had like a pool of blood, um, which was lovely. And Sam's cleaning out the feed thing, which also had a pool of blood in it. So she's cleaning that out. I've already done my part and cleaned up some of it. Um, we have to hose down the brick you want to say floor. It has a bucket, maybe? Yeah, I will. Um, so we have to hose in the brick floor one more time because there's just like a couple little spots um but yeah the stalls are really nice it's a nice feed room it's a beautiful aisle um yeah so i can actually kind of show you the horses from here so this is the cross ties this is like the back portion of the cross ties so they can't back through the doors and then there's like one post and second post um so let me turn this around for you and i'll show you what this looks like so over here is the tack room. Out these two sets of double doors, you can see the paddocks. Here you see Rosie on the right, and uh, Sugar on the left grazing. They're super happy. Sugar has like a run and shed. Rosie doesn't for right now. So this is their temporary paddock until they get acclimated with everything. And then they will be going out. There's like a, you can see like a three board fence over there and a little roof. That's the run and shed and paddock, or in pasture where they'll be. So this is the tack room, which I will open up and show you the inside of. So that's all other people's stuff, but we have this half of the tack room. So that's super nice. So there's my dressage saddle, my trunk, my bag, a couple helmets, um, Sam's shipping boots, my jump saddle, which needs a half pad under it actually. Um, and then Sam's dressage and jump saddles, which actually don't need half pads because you see how these are like flat. It, that's good for the wolf locking instead of the curved ones, which can damage the wolf locking. So there's Sam's hack trunk, Sam's bandage bag, um, Sam's two bridal bags, which are just, it's super nice that she can just hang those up. We have a bridal rack over here, which is nice, and a, and a shelf. 
So he needs to do a little bit of cleaning, like this isn't our stuff. Um, he needs to do a little bit of cleaning and get it a little bit clean. But um, it's nice there's a dehumidifier in here, so we can leave our attack in here and not worry about it getting moldy. And then this is the laundry room, which is super nice. We have like a bathroom and laundry room, which is nice. This is great. I have a washer. Yeah, that's the washer. Um, but yeah, so it's nice. It's super nice. Um, really enjoying it. Excited. I have a fan, which is nice. Um, this is actually a bandage roller and bandage boxes, which is cool. Um, and the bandage roller, there's like a like a, a foot pedal over there, and you hit it and it rolls the bandages. So yeah, this is the barn. I have to hose that off because it has Rose's blood on it. But yeah, these are this is the barn. This is the stalls. It's an eight stall barn. It's in kind of a cool like bent shape, so it's not just like a center aisle. It's made to go with the land. Um, these pelleted bedding, there's hay racks and buckets, bucket straps for buckets. Things see out the back, like I don't know if you can see, but you can things see out the back and see the pastures. There's the, you know, dividers. There's lights and fans, so it's super nice. So that's a quick tour of the barn. Um, we're super excited. There's two rings, one's down below, like just through the aisle like through the side of the aisle that I'm about to take you through. Um, it's like down a little hill and it's a grass jump ring, which I'm excited about. It's like fenced in, but it's grass, so I'm excited. For when raccoon gets better and comes up here, um, <sighs> I'm frustrated about that, of course. Sorry, I'm bad at dropping the camera. Um, uh, so I'm super frustrated that he can't be up here right now, but it'll be okay, he's gonna get better, and hopefully he'll be up here soon. Um, I don't know what that time frame's gonna look like, but we'll know more thirsty. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and show y'all the feed room and the wash rack and the arenas. When you're standing in front of Rosie's stall that she got all bloody, you have like this nice brick aisleway and a nice little entrance. And then you come over here, this is my car, um, to the feed room, which they have, you know, the smart packs and trash cans for feed, a feed chart that needs to be redone. And then it looks like they have water in here, which is cool. And then our feed, which is nice, and trash cans, of course. Um, and then you walk out. This is the wash stall. You have a set of cross ties with cold and hot water. Um, I like this because it has a light above it. So you can wash them at night if you need to after a show or something. You go down this little hill to the jump arena that's in there and to the paddocks. Or you can go over to the um, round pen, which has a nice bit of grass in it right now and a mounting block and some stuff like that. So I'm excited. I'm hoping that this will be a good home for us and that we will be able to have, you know, some good experiences here. And fingers crossed if everything goes well, this will be our home for the next three years. So, so more later. So for whatever reference is needed, it takes almost an entire uh, can of Clorox cleaning wipes to wipe down the bloody stall. <laughs> Sam's super happy about this. <laughs> she traveled fine, everything was fine. She just must have- um, Like bitter tongue. Bitter tongue, yeah. She must have just like sneered at sugar because I love him, but he can be annoying. <laughs> um, Wonder where he gets there. that from. Um, so she must have just sneered at sugar and bitter tongue or something. Because horses But I, I literally brought her off the trail. I was like, oh, she looks great, thanks, cool. Um, and I was like, oh, it's a lovely day. It's like 70 with some wind, a nice breeze. It's overcast. It's overcast. It's gorgeous. It's the perfect day. Um, and I was like, oh, this is fine. It's gonna be great. Yeah, and then um, I was like, uh, I literally got it myself. She's bleeding. Yeah, great times, great times. Awesome. So I'm, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wrote. That's all I got. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool, we'll check in later. Y'all, horses are dumb. They're dumb. So, Rosie, my lovely, beautiful Rosie, took a chunk the size of your thumb out of her tongue very far back, brilliant, up between her molars. And it kept clotting, and then she would chew and knock the clot loose and it would fall to the ground in this lovely bloody pattern. It was great.
Horses are dumb. Us. Horses are dumb, okay? So that's where we're at. She and Re she and Sugar are in their paddocks for the night. They've eaten dinner. She will be on SMZs, which are a like antibiotic sort of thing. Um, for the next like six ten to days. ten days, something like that. She's gonna get butte twice a day to help with the inflammation. And as long as she doesn't bleed, I can ride her. Um, so she'll probably get a couple days off while I get this week under control. Um, and then, yeah, and then she will come back into work. I think my lovely sister might ride the Rosie Posey a few times a week for me. And we'll have twin moments of me riding the Sugar Booger. But y'all, so it is the next day, well, Monday, the 20 something of August. 26th and we are at the farm it's about noon 11 30 noon um so i have two tub trucks in my hand that were in the paddocks from where they ate this morning rosie did not eat um which is to be expected i mean she has a huge chunk missing from her tongue um so we're not too alarmed about that but since she didn't eat they put her meds in the in her food and she didn't eat them so we get to go give her a syringe of SMZs, which will be a super popular thing for her. And as horses are, her and Sugar, who've lived together like on our farm for a year and a half, um, are now bonded for life because they've lived in a paddock beside each other. And, you know, that means that they should never leave each other's eyesight again. So. We are taking Rosie up to the barn. She'll probably throw us a mild tantrum because we're leave, making her leave sugar, but that's fine. Um, taking her up to the barn to give her her SMZs. And then I think we have to run to Target down the road and get a couple of little containers maybe and some drinks for our dorm room. And then I am done with class for the day. Sam has class at 1.30. Um, so I'm gonna go home and take a nap while she goes to class and then uh, she'll go to class and we'll come back to the barn and she'll try to ride. So I'm gonna go be of assistance. I'm sitting on a little path across from the paddock where the two, where Sam's two horses are in. Um, and they're just grazing together. Oh, they're cantering now. Oh goodness. They spooked. They realized that I'm on the ground. They're not snorting at each other. He's just snorting at me. Go do something. Get it out. We know that's there. So yeah, we basically, I jumped over the fence and um, when we did this, put his halter on and held him over in the one corner of the paddock and Sam walked Rosie in and we let him go at the same time. And they kind of just turned and cantered down the long side of the paddock and then both were like, eh, food's fine. And started eating. <sighs> and so now Sugar is staring at us. Take a picture of Sugar Bubba. Oof. And I'm eating my sandwich with my silicon straw because my metal one's at home. Because I suck. Sugar booger. No. Sugar. Sugar, sugar booger. booger. Sugar. Sugar booger. <sighs> so. Yeah. So, B, do you want to give them a raccoon update? Mmm, raccoon. Um, so what's today? Today is... Is Sunday, September 1st? Yes. It is eight days since the horses got up here. Her horses got up here. Um, seven days. They came up on Sunday. Oof, it's been seven days. Um, seven days since they got up here. Oh. Raccoon is doing much better at home. He's happy that he's out. Um, he's Raccoon eating. Is. Well, he's deciding he doesn't want to eat his drugs, so my mom has to give it to him in a syringe with applesauce. So that we know he gets it and he's being a jerk raccoon for reference raccoon is 10 days post diagnosis yep